I think this is what is fun about the job, but actors get to pretend to be all kinds of people. Good, bad, everything in between. Jonathan Tucker, though he may not be a household name, has played a man who takes a family hostage on screen in the 2005 film Hostage. Oh. Ironically, almost 20 years later, he would play a real life hero to an LA family who was stuck inside their home, terrified after an unstable man barged in. Lori Perez has the story. This was the moment caught on ring video when a man came to the door of this Hancock Park home seeming to talk to himself. He then opens the door and walks in with three little girls and their mom inside. She saw him and asked him, what are you doing here? And he didn't answer, just kept walking towards her. And that's when she just yelled for my kids to get out. The homeowner who wants to stay anonymous says a neighbor had texted him there was a man at the house and says he got home just as the stranger was going inside. The homeowner says he ran in to grab his baby. You can hear the chaos inside. This actor Jonathan Tucker, seen here barefoot but barging in, was also responding. Yeah, Tucker's great. He's block security. He really, he patrols, he makes sure, uh, makes sure everything's under control. I think he was tracking him for a while, for like an hour, hour and a half. He had called the police earlier before I did. This security camera video shows another neighbor running to help. Another angle has Tucker carrying one of the girls out. The actor, known for his work on Kingdom and Westworld, through his manager, declined to be interviewed. Neighbors say this is his voice. Thank you, LAPD. We appreciate you guys there. Applauding LAPD when they came out with the suspect after a brief standoff. All this happened just after 6:30 Sunday night. Meanwhile, this neighbor, who's shaken but not stunned, says her family has lived in this Citrus Avenue neighborhood for almost 100 years, but she will likely be the last. Yeah, it would make me sad. It would make me sad to leave the neighborhood, but you know, it's just not safe anymore. The victims who own a mental health facility say the suspect appeared unstable. They've actually offered to house him at their facility, even as they ask the city to do more to keep them safe. You know, we got to crack down and let people know when you commit a crime, you're going to go to jail. You're not going to be let out two hours later. You know, our hope is that, I guess, in the long term, is the city will get funding to help these uh, people with their needs, mental health needs. Um, get them in the right institutions where they can get the proper help and integrate them back in the community a safe way. Okay, so Darren asked a good question that we really didn't get the answer to in that story, which is... Where were the shoes? Why was he barefoot? <laughs> right. And we had some theories coming from the gym. He's the barefoot crusader. Our, he's the barefoot crusader. Our producer said maybe he drives barefoot because she does that. He's the hero in the story, so yeah. we're, we're not too concerned about it, and we can make all the excuses that'll sound good enough for us. We're just glad he was there. But yes. Where were the shoes? Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll he doesn't find need out. them to stop and, and <laughs> right, fight not, crime. He didn't need them. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You can always get all the latest headlines and weather over on Pix Plus. And remember to like and click the button on the bottom left of your screen to subscribe for the biggest Bay Area news.